Sean Diddy Combs is locked up in a federal jail that has been plagued by harsh conditions and violence. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn has seen multiple deaths in recent years. An inmate was stabbed to death in July, and several others have died by It's these reasons, among others, that Combs' lawyers are fighting to get him out of there. They want him released on bail, rather than being kept in jail while he awaits trial on f***ing charges. Combs is just the latest high-profile defendant to be locked up at MDC Brooklyn. Before him, there were R. Kelly, Elaine Maxwell, and crypto scammer Sam Bankman-Fried. Currently incarcerated in Brooklyn's notoriously harsh metropolitan detention center is Diddy. The congestion, altercations, and subpar amenities have made the jail one of the most dangerous in the nation. You say his fame makes him a target. I mean, yes, in my humble estimation, his life, his safety is in jeopardy in any correctional lockup right now. Um, he, it, if it is true, as reported, that he is housed in the special housing unit, it's important to note that the special housing unit is a, is a lockdown, 24-hour lockdown unit. Um, the MDC Brooklyn is a high-rise. The vast majority of the floors are general population floors. But the special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown facility. So this is for Mr. Combs' protection. Um, his incredible worldwide celebrity combined with the allegations, the charges now, yeah. an indictment, of course, of acts of violence against women make him a very attractive target. All so right. obviously they need to safeguard him. Diddy is accustomed to a luxurious lifestyle, but life in the MDC is very different. Navigating a world of wrongdoing, scarce resources, and psychological difficulties is necessary for survival. Puff always had a problem of listening to people that he thought that was less than him. And now he got to listen to people that got power over him, but never had as much as he had. He's going to have a big problem in the prison system. He's gonna have a real big problem in the prison system, bro. And having to listen to those COs and having to listen to everybody that got more power than him now, from a person that had all the power in the world that we thought, now, seem like the tables is turning. If these people have it this day way, he gonna be spending the rest of his life in the prison system. He better hope that they want to make a deal, but I don't think so, or they want somebody else. He better hope, and he got something to offer them. Even if he got something to offer him, you gotta realize, bro, like, you got kingpins, you got you got people who make deals, and killers. They make a deal, and they still get 25, 30 years in the feds. He's about 55 years old. If he do 15 years, that's 70 years. When he, he come out, he's 70 years old. He may not want to live like that. And then what he coming out to at 70 years old? He'll still have probably a little money to do something, but not to do nothing. Gene Deal has also mentioned that Diddy might be reflecting while incarcerated, an assertion supported by rumors that Diddy was placed under observation soon after his imprisonment. Despite the best efforts of his legal team, Diddy remains detained without bond, as the court has declared him a flight risk and a threat to public safety. Ori Spado, a former crime boss, has commented on the harsh conditions at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, where Diddy is being held. For someone used to living in the lap of luxury, Spado's account of life there which is filled with psychological challenges paints a grim picture. He is worse than it was then, all right? But let me tell you, let me tell you about Essex County. Essex County. See, my friend says it's the worst in Newark, Jersey, in Jer New Jersey. It's a very serious jail. People get beat up left and right. The bloods and Muslims control everything there. He will be in PC or he's going to have to pay. Now, let me tell you, a guy like Diddy, with money, they put him in general population, he's going to be paying a lot of people. A lot of families are going to be very happy because they're going to be getting monthly 
money from Diddy. Trust me on that there. All right? My friend said it was the worst spot, constant lockdowns, and the food was beyond disgusting. Now, he said it was beyond disgusting there. He's saying that it was great at MDC when we were first there. And it was disgusting. All right? But he said it might be better for him because MDC is really f now. And the MS-13 are controlling. From what I hear, MSN-13 is now controlling MDC. These are folks, this is information that came uh, from somebody who just got released and knows these prisons. So I don't know why this attorney wants to get him transferred from MDC to Essex. It's like from worse to worse. But anyways, that's their choice. Now, let's talk a little bit about the Bureau of Prisons. Why are they so dilapidated? They have a budget, all right, of $80.7 billion a year to run these prisons. But they're not making any improvement. Reports suggest that Diddy is not suffering in silence during his incarceration. Public discussions claim that he has begun naming other well-known individuals involved in similar crimes. Be close to the big guy. Yeah, speaking of Al Capone, I actually have a question for PBD because, you know, there's two things that they said in this thing right here. They said he's denied bail after pleading not guilty to trafficking. Yep. And then the other thing was racketeering charges. We've seen what's going on with trafficking, that he's in jail. He's literally in jail right now. He's denied yeah. bail. You know, did his famous lines take that? Take that. I don't know what's going on in jail right now, but so he hopefully he's not. Uh, he probably loving. He's probably out loving there. that, right, Deli? We'll see what happens yeah. there. But the racketeering thing. I mean, you've interviewed Sammy the Bull and Michael Francis, and the list goes on and on and all. The whole RICO charges. Um, you know, the the whole concept of racketeering is that you're in an illegitimate business, basically disguising as a real business, but it's actually fraudulent, bribery, fraud, laundering embezzlement what's the rico what's the racketeering in your uh, opinion of what could potentially be going on with diddy just based on everyone you've interviewed well there's so many categories to it right i mean you get to pick and choose they get to pick and choose sure. the way they wrote this law uh allows them to go after people for different reasons okay you pick and choose which one this is he's in most of them yeah <laughs> he's in most of them if you think about it right with the stories that's coming up by the way think about uh, uh so stephen a smith yesterday is doing a show with another guy that they have on and the other guy says this isn't just about diddy diddy's life is on the line right now and people i mean it's just at any point anything could happen to him forget about the fact that you know he's got a lot of risk mm -hmm. on, on you know on the line think about him the comparison with him and epstein right here's a story meet sean diddy combs as manipulator in chief who was once compared to jelaine maxwell did well, you see this story yeah. like epstein let me read this point. to you find that picture christina karam chief of staff at combs enterprises and described as diddy as his right hand is alleged to be the manipulator in chief in federal investigation as close source claims she knows everything oh. about combs alleged significant activities although she's not been arrested or charged gene deal on the p podcast discussed the implications of Diddy's imprisonment, hinting that Diddy might not be the only one responsible for the alleged offenses. Could this investigation expose a larger criminal enterprise within the entertainment industry? The arrest has also reignited public interest in the mysterious death of Diddy's former lover, Kim Porter. Many have speculated some even accusing Diddy that foul play may have been involved in her death, which was originally ruled as pneumonia. Gene Deal, we got a lot to get into, man. I guess we can start with Diddy being put up. How you feel about that? Man, why, uh, you know, it's the number one cause of death statistically in the prison system. In order for him to get on watch, he just can't say, I'm gonna commit. You know, that helps. But he has to go through a, he has to have a psych evaluation. He has to, the, the correction officer, they had to monitor him and see what he has, you know, we've been doing. Has he been crying all night? You know, those are some of the criteria. You know, saying that you're going to uh, cr uh, commit crying all night, uh, doing some kind of self mutilation, or trying to harm yourself, because everybody think because you were on you in a good situation once they put you in watch bruh you got to go to a cell like a padded cell by yourself with very a little or no clothes on 
You understand what I'm saying? So that's watch. It, 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 when I heard it, 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 it didn't, it didn't, um, I wasn't surprised. You know, somebody who lived in mansions, travel all over the world, somebody who had, could go into any hotel, have any and everything in his beck and call. Now he's in a room that's a, what, what, a 10 by 10 if that, a cell? Bruh, if he was gonna commit and he was on the outside doing those city college days, just imagine what he's gonna do or try to do while he's in prison and he don't have his cell phone, he don't have no maids, you understand? The correction officers who's making about 40, 50,000, or you know, if you're starting, <laughs> you know, cussing them out, telling them all kinds, and the inmates, everybody talking crazy to him because what they, what he done, he might think it's better off to commit be in a situation like that, bro. It might be better off to commit to him. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. I believe your life don't belong to you. Your life belong to God and the people around you that you take care of and do what you need to do as a man. But him saying that them putting them on watch, I could see that, man, but that, that ain't a good situation for nobody. You see what happened to Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> He was on right? Who was watching him while he was committing? <laughs> and that's crazy, man. So, uh, I don't have no feelings about it, man. You know, cause I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of dude, yeah, if somebody wanna kill theyself, let them. Additionally, Gene Deal recalled a similar incident from 1991 in which Diddy reportedly attempted suicide. The abrupt shift from his lavish lifestyle to life in prison may have made him particularly vulnerable. Surprisingly, Sudge Knight, currently serving a prison sentence, sent Diddy a cryptic warning via his podcast. Knight claimed that Diddy might be in serious danger due to his illegal connections and knowledge of various industry secrets. After the recent revelations about Diddy's life and behavior, a question posed by Ellen DeGeneres during an interview on her show takes on new significance. All right, we're back with Sean Diddy Combs. Is it Diddy today? Sometimes you're Puffy and sometimes you're Diddy. Or sometimes you're Daddy. What are you today? I'm so confused today, but as long as you say it in a nice way. All right. Just all right. Yeah. Diddy. What this right here is the new Ciroc mango. That was just a, a tacky product placement. That's all right. It's all right, but I needed a drink. Yep. And here's to us. Yeah. Woo! All right, what do you have there? What's that? Oh, that's something I brought for Portia. She's not here. No, but you was going to give it to her as a gift. All right, then I'll say it's mine? Yeah. Okay. That's sweet. Well, what about for me? Aw, oh, look at that. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. How come it's for Portia and not me? Because you're going to have her wear it. And, uh, oh. All right. We go so far back, you I, don't tell these people how far back we go. I know, but I wear t-shirts. I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's... <laughs> I mean... You hold that. Okay, all right. I, I got this tape too. The joke didn't work. I, no, I mean, okay. I don't want no problems. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, hold on. Oh. Um, hey, so, cheers. Hey! Ellen, I heard you were sick, and look what I got you. you You're poor. <laughs> So whenever you get sick, uh, you can have this. Aw, uh, thank you so much, that's sweet. I probably won't wear it, but Portia would. <laughs> I love you, I love you. I love you too. All right, let's play a game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna play five second rules. Do you know how to play this game? No. Basically, it's you have five seconds, you have to go really, really fast. You have to name three things in whatever category that, uh, yeah, you'll need more of that. Um, definitely that speeds you up. So, um, 
So he's going to name a category, and we have to name three things in that category in five seconds. Yes. I'll start first, and, and then you hit this as soon as you have said them so that you okay. see. Okay. All right, and I'll start, and then you'll see what this is like, and then it'll be your turn. I got you. Okay. okay. Ellen, name three things you do in Vegas. Uh, you gamble, uh, you watch shows, and you sleep. Sleep. All right, Diddy. Name three things you've done at 3 a.m. Mm. Um, I'm always up at 3 a.m. So I, I'm, I'm having the music and um, I'm thinking about what I have to do at 7 a.m. In a teasing manner, Ellen asked Diddy whether he identified more with Puffy Daddy or Diddy at the time. What was once a light-hearted question now feels eerily prescient. What does Diddy's arrest mean for the future of hip-hop and the broader entertainment industry? For years, Diddy's wealth and fame seemed to shield him from consequences. His downfall is a major event in the music and entertainment world. Number one story is Sean P. Diddy Combs being denied bail and having to sit in jail until a racketeering case is in front of a judge. This is a really, really big deal. So a New York federal judge denied him um, uh, at the arraignment hearing on Tuesday. Uh, you know, listen, he is huge, executive, very powerful person. And unfortunately, that came back to bite him in the because um, the charges that were unsealed earlier this week accused Combs of running a decades-long racketeering conspiracy that included forced labor, arson, bribery, uh, if he is convicted on all these charges, he potentially faces a sentence of a life in prison. So there was an initial hearing on Tuesday in front of a Manhattan courtroom, which obviously was packed full of reporters and everyone wanting to see what the heck was going on. Um, he pled not guilty to each of the three charges he was facing. His attorney also requested, get this, that he be released on a $50 million bond. Like you're going to the judge saying, we will pay you $50 million to make sure he does not sit behind bars for the next whatever, a uh, couple weeks. And they, they also said, we'll surrender his passport. We'll submit to constant monitoring. We'll sell his private jet. Just let him out of jail. And um, the judge was like, nah. I'm gonna side with the prosecutors who basically had said that they warned that he's a billionaire. He is still an executive. He posts a flight risk and has the the means to really leave, flee, un, um, uh, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Undetected. He's, he's, flee well, yeah. undetected is, is he's what they said. He's a flight, uh, flight risk. risk. Yeah. And that he also could go and intimidate witnesses if he's released. So she real sorry, no. Um, I agree with the prosecution. He needs to remain behind bars. So a massive loss for him. Um, you know, it's funny because you always talk about, oh, these people are so wealthy and so successful. And this is the one time that that success bites you. He goes, yeah, you know, you're right. If we let him go, there's a chance that we never get him back. Here. We even brought him to New York. We, 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 we brought him here so he could be arrested. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned until next time.